I got some brand new toys to try out. These are my Power Slide Calls Tondra SUV skates. I am currently using them in the Tennessee mountains. This is Speedwell, Tennessee. Little bit rough at first, but I pick up the pace. Kind of getting used to these skates, seeing what I can and cannot do in them. When I first start off in these skates, I try to keep the strides nice and short. That way I don't have any mishaps and miss a step. Just taking an extra precaution. These skates seem a little more dangerous than my normal pair of inlines. I have inflated these tires to 100 PSI. That is what it recommended on the tires. I started off with these skates. They're a little sketchy at first until you can get the hang of them. But once you get the hang of them and you gain the confidence, there are no limits to what you can do. I'm going uphill right now. It's very important with these skates not to be sluggish. Skating uphill. It's hard enough to skate uphill in my regular pair of skates. I can't imagine these. Now skating downhill. Longer frame matters. A little harder to skate in the longer frame. Here's one reason why. Whenever you do a one foot paddle, you have to make sure that you don't clip the back of your skate like this. If you catch that tire, that's exactly what happened to me. I went flying forward 
you're pretty much putting on your own brakes. So here's the rest of the downhill. So on this old rocky road of Speedwell, Tennessee, you're gonna find patches of gravel. Some spots you can row that are a little bit smoother than others. There's some deeper rocks in the middle. If you're feeling adventurous, you can roll through those. But for the most part, I have my safe zones. So I know where to roll. Here's a slower pace. And here's a faster pace. A very wide foot stance. Skating in these skates. Make sure you don't clip the frame. The one foot paddle, pretty dangerous. Skating in these skates with gravel is pretty sketchy. Those drag stops seem to work beautifully. I seem to be pretty comfortable in those. That was just a little test jump. I just wanted to make sure I could land it. This is a very rough area of the mountain. So these skates make it manageable, but it's still a little sketchy. A little harder to skate in, especially if you're going uphill. It can be a real drag. So skating downhill is preferable, but not too steep of an incline when you're dealing with a lot of rocks such as this. There's patches of rocks, so you have to kind of maneuver yourself around them. Otherwise, you're heading for a very steep fall. Not bad, it's possible, but uh, I like to test this out through the grass and on the road some more. Here's a hill. <sighs> so this will be my first grass roll through these skates. What I am interested in is not only the downhill, but can I do a continual stride through the grass on flat ground? How will I do when I go uphill? So far they seem to be rolling pretty well. Long grass. I managed to skate through it. A little bit downhill, but it's possible. Yep, nothing like rolling through some soft grass on a nice day. Here is round two. Let's see if I can pick up the pace a little. There's Sonia, my wife. So when I test these out, when I go back to Houston, I'm gonna really find out what these skates are all about because Houston is nothing but flat ground. Hardly any hills over there. Success. So far on these skates, the tires are wider than the off-road skates that I was using before which is the power slide imperial but the frame is longer I feel like if they come out with a design with wider wheels rather than 
taller wheels it might be more effective so I would like to see imperial skates with wider wheels and not so narrow or cause skates that have a shorter frame rather than such a long frame that is so bulky and hard to do strides with so that's my opinion on the skates so far I'm going for the Imperial power slide skates right now these are my favorite off-road skates they're more maneuverable even though they might not be able to roll over objects as big as the cause tundras they are still maneuverable to the point to where if there is something I can't roll over I can just simply run and keep rolling with these skates I keep hitting the frames together and that could be a cause for disaster <laughs> my honest opinion thank you power slide I'm gonna use this stretch of rope to do some power slides in these skates so let's see how that turns out Harder to power slide, but possible. Parallel power slide. Still possible, but not as easy. that these wheels are 150 millimeters they're not 125 so they're taller they're wider the frame is longer you have to take all that into consideration while skating in these skates are they made for off-road yes they're made for off-road if you're skating through the grass or down a hill and you miss a step it's gonna be kind of hard to get back on your feet again and a 125 millimeter wheel if you miss a step you can simply put one foot in front of the other and still catch your next step before you fall in these skates it's a little harder to do that so longer frame harder to maneuver but they do have their intended purpose Still jumping them. The bigger the wheel, the deeper into your power slide you have to be. Now you may think that this is the biggest wheel that I've ever skated in. Well, that would be false. These Tundras only go up to 150 millimeters. Now if you recall, I have a pair of Len Rollers. The wheel is so big that it has to be tilted at an angle so it can go underneath your feet. That wheel is 180. Bigger gravel is a little, a little harder to do. Gravel like this, a little harder to maneuver yourself. A little more sketchy.
finally I got some speed in these skates. Which is still not an easy thing to do. Very hard to pick up speed. And when I pick up the speed, it's hard to maintain it for a while. It could be a combination of both this gravel and the skate. But uh, I guess I'm gonna have to do some more tests elsewhere to know for sure. But this is one test. Skating backwards on a rocky road. Sure, I can try that. Just about every exotic skate that I buy, I end up seeing in the comments below, skate backwards. So this is for y'all. Let me try some transitions from front to back, back to front. True test, do off-road skates really make a difference? I'm using my Bowers. The same skates I put through a lot. Let's see if I could skate on the same gravel road. Will it work? Alright, so I did have a recorded vlog for this video, but for some reason, the sound did not record. So, despite the error of the GoPro 5, I'm going to have to narrate over this part. Let's put a little bit of music. At least that way it won't sound so quiet. Alright, so as you can tell, I am using my Bowers to go down these hills. The feeling in these skates right now are very sketchy. I feel a lot more comfortable using the Cause Tundras. Reason being is because I am less likely to fly forward over a big rock. Now, let's go up this hill. Yeah, definitely trip more. This is the same grass hill over here that I rode earlier. Let's try rolling down this grass hill. 
Remember? Before I did it in my cause tundras. Let's give it a go. Again, the same. It's possible to roll, but with the tires, I roll faster. So, all in all, you have tires, they're, they're better for off-road skates. You have urethane wheels, they're better for the concrete. So do off-road skates make a difference? Yes, they do. There is your full review. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos on the Cause Tundra off-road skates.